Hi everyone, Katie here. I'm just going to show you how to make this beautiful fishtail circlet. It's a great bohemian look. I love a romantic earthy hairstyle and this one gets the hair out of your face and it has a great asymmetrical look. So what we're going to do, we're going to make two panels in the front. We're going to section off all the hair in front of your ears on a side parting. So once you have those two sections laid out, make sure that they're tangle free so we can get to the braiding part. And now comes the fishtail braid. If you've never done a fishtail before, it's fairly easy. Split your hair into two sections and you're going to take a bit of hair from one of the sections and give it to the other section. Now let go of it and grab a bit of hair from the other section and give it to the first section. And then start all over again. A little bit of hair, we're going to grab it and give it to the other section. Notice how I'm pulling the braid upwards and towards the back. That's because this is the way it's going to lay and that's a good rule of thumb. If you want your braid to lay well without having any funny bumps, pull it back the way that it's going to lay as you're braiding it. I'm going to go down this section a little bit and once I've gone down a ways I'm going to stop and I'm going to start pancaking and fluffing this braid out and since it's a fishtail it's not going to look as precise as a Dutch braid or a French braid it's going to be a little bit messy but that is exactly the look we're going for a more of a tousled hairstyle it's definitely more romantic this way and earthy now once we get this hair back the off-center crossover look ends up looking much like two long feathers hanging from a circlet and I just love that. So keep going down the braid and pulling it out as you go until you get close to the end and we're going to tie that off with an elastic. Now the next step is to pin that into place as you pull it back on your head, position the hair and it this way and that to arrange it just the way that you want to before putting a pin into place. So we're going to be pinning it pretty close to where we started on the braid to keep everything in place. Now go all the way over to the other side in the back and pin that in place. Imagine your braid like a tunnel and you're going to push the pin through like that and that'll keep it nicely hidden and also secures your braid to the back of your head. There we go. Now I'll take the next section and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Split it in half and start trading sections until you have the whole thing braided and pulled apart. Now we're going to pin that just over the other braid so it looks like they're joined, just like that. You can see the circlet there and how the braids cross over each other. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. And as always, subscribe if you would like to see more.